Now I'm going to show you how you can create products on Shopify to enable you and your development team to fetch data and the products to your custom app or whatever front end you're developing. So let's go here in the left menu. We have the products and we click here and we simply click this screen button here at your products. So we go here and now we can start adding data or information to the product you want to create. So here I can just simply create a t-shirt and in the description, we can add anything we want to add to the description. So for example, a very cool t-shirt. We spelled it right there. So now here you can add an image, which will, you can add multiple images in fact, but usually one is enough. So uh, let's see here, you can add one from a URL. So I'm going to use my face it's an image it's a very cool t-shirt and uh, next up you have the pricing for for, for your t-shirt or whatever product you're configuring here it's pretty self-explanatory what you need to do except for maybe the compare at price but they do this is for for if you have a reduced price you can you can show show the, the correct pricing which is a legal requirement in many regions. Uh, and Shopify has great information panels here if you hover over these question marks. So they give great information about anything you're doing on, on Shopify. When you scroll down, you hit the inventory panel. So here you can add stock keeping unit uh, uh, ID identifier for, for configuring the stock, keep, stock, stock units and barcodes if you have any for, for physical products. Uh, quantity, shop location, uh, shipping data, the weight of your product, anything that you might need is found here. And this will basically enable you to create these individual products that your developers or development team may use and fetch through the API to create headless applications with Shopify. So there you have it for, for, for this tip.